we've learned about prefixes or word parts added to the beginning of base words to change their meaning. Let's practice with the prefixes re and un. Look at the words on the screen. Say the words with me. Reheat, uncooked. Adding a prefix to the beginning of a word changes its meaning and adds a syllable. What is the prefix in reheat? Re. The prefix re means again. When re is added to a word, it means to do something again. Using what you know, what does the word reheat mean? To heat again. What is the prefix in uncooked? Yes, it's un. The prefix un means not, or the opposite of an action. Using what you know, what does uncooked mean? Not cooked. Let's look at more words with the prefixes re and un. Now that we've talked about the meanings of the prefixes re and un, let's look at some examples. I'm going to read out the words in the first column. Listen for the prefix re in each of these words. Relock, rewrap, repacked, refold. Now it's your turn. Let's read these words together. Relock, rewrap, repacked, refold. Let's look at the second column, which has words with the prefix un. I'm going to read out the words. Listen for the prefix un in each of these words. Unlock, unwrap, unpacked, unfold. Now it's your turn. Let's read these words together. Unlock, unwrap, unpacked, unfold. Now let's look for the differences in meaning between the corresponding words in each column. The first row has the words relock and unlock. They have the same base word, lock. However, with the prefix re on the front of relock, it means to lock again, whereas the prefix un at the beginning of unlock means the opposite of lock or to do the opposite action. Next is rewrap and unwrap. This time, they share the base word wrap. Rewrap means to wrap again, and unwrap means to do the opposite of wrap. Then we have repacked and unpacked. This time, they share the base word packed. Repacked means to pack again, and unpacked is the action that is opposite of packed. Lastly, we have refold and unfold. What's the base word that they share? That's right, they share the base word fold. What does refold mean? Yes, it means to fold again. How about unfold? That's right, it's the opposite action of folding. We've also learned about suffixes or word parts added to the end of base words to change their meanings. Let's practice with the suffixes less and ness. Look at these words and say them with me. Fearless, kindness. Adding a suffix to the end of the words fear and kind changes each word's meaning and adds a syllable. What is the suffix in fearless? Yes, the suffix is less. The suffix less means without. Using what you know, what does fearless mean? without fear. Notice that the suffix less changes the word fear from a noun or verb into an adjective, a word that describes a noun. Now let's look at the word kindness. What is the suffix in kindness? Ness. Good job. The suffix ness means the state, condition, or quality of something. Using what you know, what does kindness mean? Yes, it means the quality or condition of someone who is kind. Let's look at more words with the suffixes less and ness.
Now that we've talked about the meanings of the suffixes ness and less, let's look at some examples. I'm going to read out the words in the first column. Listen for the suffix ness in each of these words. Darkness, softness, weakness, loudness. Now it's your turn. Let's read these words together. Darkness, softness, weakness, loudness. Let's look at the second column, which has words with the suffix less. I'm going to read out the words. Listen for the suffix less in each of these words. Useless, harmless, careless, painless. Now it's your turn. Let's read these words together. Useless, harmless, careless, painless. Excellent. We're going to read each line of words one at a time and then talk about the words. Are you ready to read? Harmless. What suffix is added to the word harmless? Yes, less. What does the suffix mean? Without. Good job. How does it change the meaning of the base word harm? Yes, the new meaning is without harm. How does it change the part of speech of the base word? Well, harm can be a noun or a verb. When less is added onto the end, it becomes an adjective. Now let's do the next word, greatness. What suffix is added to the end of greatness? Ness, that's right. When ness is added onto the end of the word great, it becomes an adjective. What does the word greatness mean? Yes, it means having the quality of something great. Next, we have useless. What suffix is added to the end of useless? Less. Good job. What does less mean? Yes, it means without. What does the word useless mean? It's an adjective that means without use. We have three more words to go. Let's look at the next word, unable. This time, we have a prefix, un, added to the beginning of the base word, able. What does un mean? That's right, it means not. So what does the word unable mean? Not able, good job. Next is reclaim. In this word, do we have a prefix or a suffix added onto the base word? Yes, we have a prefix and it's the prefix re. What does the prefix re mean? That's right, it means again. So what does reclaim mean? Yes, it means to claim again. Now here's our last word, noiseless. Does noiseless have a prefix or a suffix added onto the base word? It has a suffix. The suffix is less, meaning without. What does the word noiseless mean? Yes, it means without noise. Great job.